can I interest you in a pie? Finest mutton in all the county. Two pence each. No, thank you. You're missing out. Good day. Freshly picked apples, miss. Would you like to try one on the house like? Yes, please. Here you are, miss. The apple looks somewhat rotten. It's riddled with holes. The worm has found a new home within the holes of the rotten apple. Hello, Miss Tompkins. Hello. We weren't introduced earlier. My name is Thomasina. Ma'am? How do you fare, Miss Tompkins? I'm waiting for Mr Ambrose. Have you seen him? Who's that? The milkman. Ms Fenchurch will be ever so cross if I've no milk for his lordship. I'm afraid I haven't seen him. Who is Ms Fenchurch? His lordship's housekeeper. You are in the employ of Lord Panswick? Aye. He employs half a bullion one way or another. I'm in need of some help for my excavation. Do you think his lordship could lend me some of his labourers? Maybe. Might you introduce me to him? Sorry, ma'am, but his lordship doesn't take visitors. Any road, I must wait here for Mr. Ambrose. Ms. Fenchurch will be ever so cross if I've no milk for his lordship. If Mr. Ambrose doesn't turn up and I find you some milk, would you be able to introduce me to Lord Panswick? Hmm. His lordship really doesn't like visitors, ma'am. I'll take the risk. Miss Fenchurch will be cross with me. But she'll be even crosser if I come back without fresh milk. So do we have a deal? Aye. Bring me some milk and I'll take you to his lordship. Thank you. But hopefully Mr. Ambrose will arrive soon. Have you been waiting long for Mr. Ambrose? Aye. He should have been here a good two hours ago. He's here every market day, you see. He sells only the freshest milk. Miss Fenchurch swears by it. I hope Miss Fortune hasn't befallen him on his way here. I'm sure he will turn up. Oh, I hope so. I'll let you know if I find some fresh milk. Thank you, ma'am. But tell me if you see Mr. Ambrose, won't you? I will. What do you want? Do you have any fresh milk going spare? <laughs> if you can get any milk out of old Eunice, you're welcome to it. Eunice? Me goat. Good luck. Easy girl. I'm not fond of goats at the best of times, but this one seems particularly disagreeable. All right, we are doing this. I... I... I'm not sure what that was. I don't know what's happening to me. All this superstitious nonsense must be getting to my head. <laughs> well... 
Did you get any milk out of her? I tried, and failed miserably. Ah, uh, she's a temperamental bit. Perhaps you could milk her for me? I'd like to help you, lass, but I've just had a flare-up in me joints. I've worked myself too hard this morning. I couldn't bend down to save myself. Is there anything I can do to help? Ah, my wife would say I'm beyond any help, I'm certain of that. But if you know of any remedies for aching joints, please send them my way. I'll see what I can do, Mr. Bryden. I'm going to rest for a while. Ta-ra now. Daddy, I have something for you. I do hope you remember it. I've taken great care of it. I'll fetch it for you now, all right. Daddy, you must remember this, the day that started it all. It's the red urn you buried in the garden for me. My first ever excavation. Hmm, where should I put it? Perfect. It will catch the light from your lamp so nicely. There. I'm going to become a great barrow digger, just like you. I hope the pot reminds you of those adventures we had together when I was a child, and how thankful I am for everything you've taught me. Now I must tell you about my visit to Pallinghurst. I found an arrowhead. Good day. Yes? Do you know of any remedies for aching joints? You're too young to be suffering from this, surely. It's for someone else, Mr Bryden. Yes, yes. I know just the poultice. Capital. May I have some? Well, I don't have the ingredients, I'm afraid. What do you need to make it? It's a simple blend made of natural elements. Elderflower and flirtwort. I can make the poultice for you if you bring me these things. Then it just needs to be applied directly to the joints. That should ease his burden. Thank you. Where can I find some flirtwort? Flirtwort is not commonly found around Bewley. It's a perennial shrub that bears small white flowers. You might find some growing out on moors if you're lucky. Thank you. Where can I find some elderflower? There used to be quite a few elder plants growing here in Hearn Wood, but they've long since gone. Nowadays, you might find the shrub growing within a hedgerow or a private garden. I see. What does elderflower look like? Elderflowers are small, white and grow in clumps on the elder shrub. Elder shrubs can grow in all shapes and sizes. Just look out for the clumps of tiny white flowers. Farewell. This looks like it might be elderflower. I'll take some. Excuse me, Miss Bateman. 
I'm in something of a hurry. But while we're here, Mrs. Duplancy has told me you were making inquiries into my health. I- Please don't go alarming the woman, Ms. Bateman. She has a lot on her hands. Doesn't need to worry about me on top of it all. My health is just fine. Speak no more of it to Mrs. Duplancy. Do I make myself clear? I didn't wish to intrude upon private affairs. I won't do it again, Father Roach. Excellent. Now, farewell. God knows when we shall meet again. Which work is that quote from? Romeo and Juliet. Oh, he's gone. It's locked. Good day to you, pet. Hello, Mrs. De Plancy. If you're looking for Father Roach, he won't be back until tomorrow. Where is Father Roach? You might have noticed the good father has a green thumb. He's gone to visit his friend in the countryside to purchase some seedlings for his tower garden. Where is Father Roach's tower garden? Why, on top of St. Edmund's, of course. He's got a lovely collection of cuttings up there. You'll have to ask him to show you. It does sound rather pleasant. It's a shame he's not around. Well, he does have a spare key for the tower door somewhere. Do you know where Father Roach keeps his spare key? No, that's his business. If I did know, I'd fetch it myself and take you up there. Not to worry. I do recall him saying he hid it outside somewhere, for safekeeping, like. Were it in the graveyard? Oh, I don't know. Best wait till he gets back, pet. I found out my father visited Bewley some 25 years ago. William Bateman, perhaps you remember him? Bateman? William Bateman? I remember a William Baldwin. He were a right miserable sod. My father was only in Bewley briefly, from what I understand. I'm trying to piece together what he was doing here. You'll have to ask him. I don't recall anyone of that name. My father took part in an excavation at Hobbs Barrow. Do you recall the excavation? I concern myself only with matters related to the church. I'm sorry I can't be more helpful. These box pews are most unusual. I've never seen any quite so tall. We Bewley folk like our privacy. Many of the pews are owned by individual families. Some might accuse you of hiding secrets. Now, now, pet. I jest. At my age, it's hard to climb in and out of them. I'd rather stand. Does the name Saxnot mean anything to you? Hmm. Is that a village near Erdlaw? No, never mind. Thanks for your time. Lord be with you. In memory of Peter Black. In memory of George Paxton. In memory of William Ager. In memory of Barnaby Tillett. In memory of Mabel Hurst. In memory of Percival Roach. In memory of Benjamin Garkham. In memory of Romeo Hegg, dearly missed by his beloved Juliet. I think I can chip away at this plaster. There's a key behind here. This has to be Father Roach's spare. Cap 
capital. A small label on the pot reads, Flirtwort. This is just what I need. Wild garlic, fennel, corn mint, borage. Quite the collection. I should put the key back. There. I hope that stays on. Good day. Have the ingredients you asked for. Wonderful. Hand them over. No, no, this is not elderflower. It's cowbane. An easy mistake to make. The two look very similar. Oh. It's safe to eat, as long as you're not a cow. Very toxic to cattle. Where can I find some elderflower? There used to be quite a few elder plants growing here in Hearn Wood, but they've long since gone. Nowadays, you might find the shrub growing within a hedgerow or a private garden. I see. What does elderflower look like? Elder... Elder... Hello, Jane. Miss, watch me juggle. Very impressive. I can juggle even more apples. I dare you to juggle an extra apple. Easy. Yuck, a worm! Put those back! Sorry. You'll pay for any damaged goods. Sorry, miss. Hello again, little worm. I dare easy. Yuck, a worm. I managed to swap them without her noticing. Good day. I have the ingredients you asked for. Wonderful. Hand them over. There you go. Tell Mr. Bryden to apply this poultice to the area in question. It works wonders. Thank you very much.
Yes? I've got a poultice for your joints, Mr. Bryden. It was prepared by Mildred Walker. Who? You may know her as Mother Mildred. Oh, thank you, lass. That Mildred knows what she's doing. I should have thought to see it myself. She said to apply it directly to where the pain is. It should work very swiftly. I'll give it a try. Oh, that did the trick, lass. I feel like a lad of twenty again. I suppose you'll be wanting me to milk old Eunice for you in return. If you don't mind, I'd appreciate it. A fair exchange? Stand well back, lass. Believe me, I'm not coming an inch closer. There you are, lass. Some fresh milk. Thank you very much, Mr. Bryden.